Today I got something very special for you and it is one of the new copy traders that is currently my favorite copy trader in the game. I use it specifically for prop firms, but you could use it for a personal account too if you wanted to. And it is called Trade Sinker and it has a ton of cool features. You know, you could copy trade up to like 120 different accounts with a whole lot of different connections. Right now we have seven connections. You know, you can copy trade across Rhythmic, Tradeabate, DX feed. You know, you get you get a lot of cool like info and stuff like that. You can see all of our accounts right here. We have like about 44 accounts all simultaneously trading. And we get this dashboard. We can see our total balance, our wins, our losses, our connections, our active accounts, our open positions. Very important to uh, check that out if you're in a trade and you don't know it. And then it's got some statistics here for us some reports i mean it has a whole lot of data but it also copy trades based off of one account so that's one of the huge things so essentially how it works is you choose a leader account you know whatever platform you're using we're using apex with trade of eight specifically as long as we have you know a trade of eight connection or you know a rhythmic connection whatever our lead account is we could use any platform. So we could use Tradeabate. We could use TradingView. Um, if this was Rhythmic, we could be on uh, Quantower. You know, you, you could use whatever platform this lead account is using, and then it'll just copy to all the other accounts that you have connected. So that's like one of the coolest things about TradeSinker. So I'm going to show you guys how to set it up, how to get started with TradeSinker. I mean, day trading does carry significant risk, and most day traders do lose. So be careful with it, of course. But I'm going to show you guys how to get started here. Test it out for seven days for free. So that's one of the great things. All you got to do is click in the description below the link. You'll come to tradesinker.com and you start free trial. Go ahead and sign up here. I already made a different account. So I'm going to show you guys a brand new account and how to start setting it up. Now, I am a big fan of dark mode, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in dark mode right off the rip. But this is what it's going to look like as soon as you make a new account, right? And you'll notice step one, add a connection. So we'll, we'll press add a connection, or you can press it over here. You have to choose a subscription in order to be able to start adding connections. So I went ahead with flex because I'm just a degenerate and I love trading a ton of accounts. Um, I might have been a little overkill because, um, you know, I only have about 44 accounts, but I do have more than four connections. So I went with the flex account, but basic account will give you two different connections and up to 10 accounts per connection, right? So, you know, you could have Apex and Tradeify if you wanted, right? You could have five accounts from Tradeify, no problem. And then you could have 10 accounts from Apex with this one. So we'll, we'll go ahead and switch to that one. You know, you could do monthly or annual, but if you're just wanting to give it a shot, might as well just do the, the smallest one. I am able to give you guys 10% off with code DGT. So you guys want to slap that in there and boom, you'll get 10% off. So you'll go ahead and sign this up. Um, you won't get charged. So if you guys don't like it or, you know, just for whatever reason, make sure you guys cancel before the seven days. Otherwise you will get charged. And they, now I'm not going to do it because I already have it. We have it right here. So after you get past that, you will be able to add connections. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a connection with trade abates. We'll, we'll do tradeify because yeah, it's pretty easy to reconnect. And I have Apex as my leaders right now, so I don't want to reconnect that one. So basically, that's all we have to do is just press connection, type in the name. Usually I use the broker so I don't get confused. Go to Tradeavate. We're going to do demo because we are in SIM funded. Um, we did buy instant funding accounts because Tradeify is the instant funding GOAT. So we want to choose demo because it is SIM funded and not a live accounts. So we'll go ahead and click continue and then it's going to bring us to this page, right? And then we just got to type in our Tradeify credentials, press login, and it'll verify that your password's right and everything like that. So we did and boom, we're connected, right? Now notice that 
this is our new connection and it says zero out of 120 accounts because we have the highest plan so we can have 120 accounts per connection a little bit overkill but that's okay we'll have to click on it to go into here and we're gonna have to enable all of these accounts because we want to copy trade all of them that, that's just the, my style i like to do that so we just press the enable all accounts right there or if you just wanted to you know copy trade two of them at a time or three of them at a time you just turn off two of them you could copy trade three and then keep the other two in a separate group you know save um save yourself some some misery if you do end up getting the trade wrong or if you want to just trade in different groups but we'll go ahead and turn them all back on because I like to copy trade all of my accounts at the same time. And now for Rhythmic, it's essentially the same thing. I, I don't have to, um, you know, disconnect them for for us. But I, the one major thing is, just type in the name, the main thing is make sure you choose the Rhythmic connection that you want. Like if you wanted to connect Lucid, you need to choose Lucid Trading on here. And you just type in your username and password, and boom, you'll have your rhythmic connection just like I have right here. And you do the same thing. You activate as many accounts as you want on there. Another, another key point is bought some new accounts uh, with rhythmic, and uh, you didn't log into our trader. Just make sure you log into our trader. Make sure you sign the agreements. Otherwise, you won't be able to start copy trading. So, and same thing with trade Eight. Make sure you you log in outside of trade sinker and you sign the agreements because you won't be able to take a trade um, without doing that so now that we have everything all set up now we go over to the cockpit this is like the main spots um, after the connections this is where all the magic happens and as you can see we have our new tradeify connection that we just added we gotta turn it on because we want to copy all 44 accounts at the same time and what we need to do is choose a leader, right? Now, I already chose my leader, but we could change the leader if we wanted to. Um, I'm just going to keep it as the same account, my Apex PA. So, you know, to choose a leader, you just got to press right there. Boom, pick one. You'll see this little crown. Now, this is very, very important because as long as this is toggled on or updating following account status. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Okay, because we changed the leader account to the same leader account, we have to redo it again. So, if you guys have that issue, just do what I just did. But yes, very, 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 very important. Now, whatever you do on this account, as long as this is toggled on, whatever you do on this account is going to copy to every single other account that has this little blue, uh, blue toggle on, okay? Now, I made a horrible mistake when I first started Trade Sinker, because what I did was, let, let's just, I'm just gonna show you this example because I ended up blowing 20 Apex PAs instantly because of this error. So I'm gonna try to save you guys some grief because that did send me on full blown tilt because I'm so pissed off. But okay, this is it right here, right? So usually if you want to copy trade on Tradeovate, you'll go to manage groups and you'll add all these into a group, right? And if you have five accounts, you need to put five in here and it will do one per account, right? That is not the case with TradeSinker. So do not do that, okay? You don't need to make a group on Tradeovate, okay? You don't need to do anything like that. All you need to do is choose that follower account, right? So if we had 113 as our follower or our, uh, our leader account, which one? Which one would it be? It would be this one, right? So if we wanted to change the leader to this account, this would copy across the board. So, you know, what I did was I had 100 micros in here, right? Thinking that because I had 20 Apex PAs, it would do five micros per account and everything would be fine, right? No, it did not do that. It put 100 micros on each account instantly blowing my accounts because I was in volatile price action. So if you wanted to trade, let's say one mini across every single account and this was your leader account, then you would do exactly this. You would just type in one. You don't wanna type in 25 if you have 25 accounts. You don't wanna type in five if you have five accounts. You just wanna do one, make sure there's no group. If, if you had a group, it would look something like this.
this is what you don't want. You don't want this plus one, two, three, the name of the group. You don't want that. You want to turn that off. Boom. You have Tradeify as your leader account. You will send a buy or sell if for one mini contract if you click one of these buttons. And it will copy to every single account that is toggled on. Okay, so be very, very careful with that. I completely screwed myself my first time in Trade of Eight. But now I use trading view which is very nice in my opinion it does have a little bit of lag and stuff like that which you know i i don't mind i, I don't i don't need the uh the twitchiness but if we wanted to use trading view as you know our trading platform we could do that with trade sinker as well we would just need to log in to our account here which i'm already logged in so i'll show you guys how to log in so you guys can use trading view Go ahead and log out right there. You know, our Apex account is our leader account, so we would just choose Trade of Eight. You know, they have a bunch of different ones. But we're going to use Apex. So this is this is all we would do. We would find the uh, Trade of Eight in the trading panel. Boom. See that it's connected. We would choose our um, leader account, which is our Apex PA. We only have one because of what I just told you happened, um, where I blew all of those accounts. Luckily, I had one uh, survive, so we do have this one PA. We are about to pass the rest of our Apex accounts, so we will have 20 funded Apex accounts here very soon. And they are running 80% off right now. Use code DGT at checkout on Apex.com if you want to trade Apex. Um, but yeah, this this is what it's going to look like on Trade of Eights, right? Let's choose a leader account. Can you see this? Boom move my camera over you'll make sure that your leader account is chosen right here and then you can press trade over here it'll open up this panel move back on over here and now whatever i do here i buy or sell two units is two micros i have mnq selected here which i guess i could do a little just a little demo trade here for you guys it's gonna be a quick one because i have a lot of accounts but check it out well if we go short right here with one micro it is going to show across all of our accounts here and now we could flatten here we could cancel all orders our bracket orders that we have here the the stop loss and the take profits um, they do copy across all accounts so you now one thing to keep in mind some prop firms have scaling rules or um, contract limits so just make sure if you know your leader account has a higher contract limit than the rest then you need to um, you know change something like maybe do the ratio different or uh, cross or something like that um, otherwise your other accounts won't fill and you'll get an error message on trade sinker now we're going to go ahead and close this out because I don't know what's going to happen here. I just press a random button. So we'll just take an L across the board here. Notice that when I closed out that trade, boom, all these accounts, you know, took the L. Now, some of these are lagging behind. All you got to do is refresh and you'll see your actual realized PNL right here. And this did just turn into a huge L right here because we have so many accounts. But that's okay. Now, to be safe, what I like to do is after I get out of a trade, I press cancel all orders, fly and all, and boom. Now I know that we are completely out. And we can see our canceled orders here, our filled orders here. You can see our entry here got filled across the board. And, yeah, I mean, pretty, pretty reliable for me so far. Um, they did have some issues in the past, but they had a massive infrastructure upgrade, and I've been trading 44 accounts for two weeks now. No problemo. And yeah, we have like this cool dashboard. We can see our profit factors, our win rates. You can see our total balances across our 44 accounts. We have seven connections. See our profit loss this week. We even get this nice uh, dashboard here, and then now our loss from earlier showing up. Um, yeah, we, we took a big L yesterday. 
it was our first L. Luckily, most of our profit days were a bit bigger, so we're still looking pretty green on the week. But yeah, I mean, that, that kind of sums it up. It's it's kind of like having um, Tradezilla built into your copy trader. It's it's pretty cool, and you could copy trade across a ton of accounts. One thing I forgot to mention, hopefully you're still watching this, um, because this is very, very, very important. you got to make sure you choose the right contract here. you got to choose the right contract. If you don't have it chosen, like if you wanted to trade micro ES, you need to import it and you need to click on it and activate all those connections on that one. Okay, right? If you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll try to respond to it as fast as I can. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video.